They've come to carry out what the government describes as a surgical operation. Around 70,000 security personnel are being deployed across Balochistan province to ensure elections scheduled for May 11th are held peacefully. Since April, several political candidates and their supporters have been attacked. A number of schools, designated as polling stations, bombed. Baloch nationalists fighting for independence from Pakistan have claimed responsibility for the violence and have promised to sabotage the poll. The huge security presence was ordered by this man, Akbar Durrani, the interior minister for Balochistan. This all is because uh, to give a conference to the people, to the voters, that they can uh, elect a government, they can elect a candidate of their own choice. There are several Baloch separatist groups operating across the province. Abdul Hakim Lehri belongs to the Baloch Republican Party, the political wing of the Baloch Republican Army. The government declared the BRA a banned organization last August after a series of attacks targeting security personnel. He tells me death is the price of war. We are dying. I accept it. But we are dying for a cause, for a purpose. That's free Baluchistan. But we want no elections. We want independence. Baluchistan. The security presence across Balochistan is clear, but with separatist groups promising violence ahead of the May 11th vote, there are still concerns people won't go out on polling day. At this busy market in Quetta, many people told us despite the increase in security, they won't vote. My family and I will not be voting. The situation is just too dangerous. No person is safe. Decisions like that are why some say next week's vote is looking less like a general election and more like a battle between those determined to shape Pakistan through violence and those who still believe the ballot box is the best way to solve the country's many problems. Imtiaz Haib, Al Jazeera, Quetta.